Bow. What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and I want to know, is it okay for artists to steal? For real though, what are your thoughts? Because I've seen artists talk so many times about people copying them or they're afraid of their stuff being copied and I am want to talk about how I think about it in the first place. Because we all know there's always been so many examples that come up of people just accusing artists of stealing. Beyonce always gets accused of stealing. I don't know why people love to just say she's stealing stuff. But even Kanye has gotten accused of stealing. But Kanye is like the artist of artists. People think of him as the pioneer in the culture. However, when the whole instance came came up about him stealing the stage from Casper, it really didn't get too much publicity. I don't know why, but it just didn't. Well, actually, I kind of do know why, but I'm not going to get into that in this video, but we will revisit that specifically later on in this video. But first, let me talk about how I talk about the concept of stealing in the first place. When we talk about artists who say they're so original, right? There's so many artists that speak on being original and act like they have no inspiration at all. That's kind of weird to me because if you haven't heard music, if you haven't heard language in anywhere, you never heard any songs, it would kind of make sense for you to say you're completely original. But we all know that being 1000% original from the very beginning is just it's just hard. You can innovate, but really that's building and pushing the edge to create new on top of the old, that old foundation. So let's acknowledge the fact that we all have inspiration, which could be called stealing in some ways from other places. As a matter of you're taking from somebody who's currently hot, which is what's more common these days, but before people were taken from further back where it wasn't like someone that they were competing with in the marketplace at the time could say, hey, you're stealing from me. It was only the old heads that were like, yo, he's taking from such and such or I already heard that type of music that's not that big of a deal and then we have the other kind of stealing which is like just straight blatant people literally take people's lyrics their songs and repurpose them as their own now we know that but I want to know where is the fine line for you guys as artists what do you really consider to be stealing what do you consider to be just enough so it's just inspiration and not necessarily stealing and now we revisit the Kanye situation here's an example where Kanye was wasn't really doing the exact same thing that Casper was doing. Casper had a stage and it was floating, which was completely innovative in the sense that we hadn't really seen anybody do that before. But also the most of the marketplace still hadn't seen anybody do it until Kanye did it because Africa's artists just don't necessarily break into the market like American artists break into other markets. So floating stage, check. But then it's not as big as Kanye's stage if you look at them side by side. That's one thing that Kanye changed up a little bit. From everything I know, Casper's stage doesn't move around, right? But if you really look at the lighting, the lighting is almost the same. Kanye added more lights because his moves and it's bigger. But there are some obvious straight up inspirations. And for that not to be acknowledged is probably why it's considered stealing when it probably wouldn't have been a big deal to Casper. Maybe. I don't know. But I want to know what you guys think. Is something like that considered stealing? Is that enough change? Or is it just because he's Kanye that he doesn't have to acknowledge? Because I know Jay-Z gets accused of stealing. I've known people to really say, hey, I don't mess with Jay-Z because he steals from artists. I hear people accuse that of Beyonce. I hear people accuse that of so many other artists. But what exactly is the fine line? I can't define that for you guys because I know everybody is getting inspired from somewhere. I get inspired sometimes from videos, whether it's from comments or whether it's from other great information that I get wherever I am talking to somebody watching the video reading the article but I'm not necessarily going to say exactly what they say but there's probably sometimes where I might be inspired by something and take it completely into a super unrelated field where there's no similarities at all and there's other times where what I deliver is pretty close it's close enough where someone could say I'm stealing even though I know I'm not. Where's the fine line for you? I'm not gonna go too much deeper because at the end of the day, I don't think it's that real of an answer. There's no true definition of stealing unless you literally just blatantly copy and steal it but we all kind of know that. So put your comments in the comment section. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you.